Hello everybody and welcome to the Mark Goldbridge channel. I'm just actually at the Emirates. I'm a little bit early. I'm meant to be filming some stuff with Robbie. So I'm just going to have a little walk around because I've never been to the Emirates before. Um, I've been to the old Highbury quite a bit, but there's a statue of somebody over here that we're just going to go and have a quick look at as well. Um, dead, you know, Old Trafford, even at this time, would be rocking with tourists and stuff. But uh, I'm just going to have a quick look at what this statue is all about. Um, as we approach it, you should be able to see it over there. You see it? it? Looks like Winston Churchill. I think it might be like Alf, who used to be in Coronation Street. Um, I'm terrible at this. Yeah, so I, I thought it was Winston Churchill, but apparently it's someone called Herbert Chapman, who actually, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to do the banter. I'm not going to do the banter because I do know that uh, he used to be the uh, um, the local mayor. No, he used to be a manager for Arsenal. So yeah, so we're having a walk around here. I think people just use it as a shortcut to work. I don't think a lot. I should stop some people actually. I don't think they actually know that it's a football stadium, and what it's for. Um, it's uh, basically. I, I don't know whether this is here. This says Arsenal match day uh, on it. I think official merchandise. I think that might be the um, the flip-flop shop where they buy their flip-flops because they are a bunch of flip-floppers, aren't they? Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I have been. To, I, well, I haven't been there for years. I did go to the old Highbury where they used to play there, and you know, it had a bit of atmosphere. But uh, Tesco van coming here, probably uh, coming to deliver the jelly babies, spineless. But um, yeah, it's a bit. It's a bit. I like London, but I must admit, I just sort of like came across this place. Not literally. It would be filth and uh, I wouldn't waste it. In fact, I'd be very limp. This place would not get me hard unless Lingard was uh, merely rocking after another United win. But um, yeah, it's just a bit of a soulless sort of football ground, really. You know, everything's obviously quite modern. It's nice inside, but there's nothing much around it. A load of flats and stuff. And this is my problem with modern football grounds, really. I know, like, Goodison Park at Everton, that's going to go. And obviously there's talk of Old Trafford. But the thing about Old Trafford is, yeah, it does need updating. But it's got personality. It's got history. I mean, this hasn't. Did they, did, were, were they invincible here? Did, have they won a Premier League title here? I don't know. I don't really care. I'm only here to speak to Robbie. Just passing some time doing a video for you lot. But, uh, yeah. It's also nice to come to the birthplace of Robin Van Persie so that you can see that uh, obviously anything is possible in life. Anything is possible in life. You can, uh, you can liter literally uh, build your life up from nothing. You know, a lot of people have uh, you know, started out in shitholes and went on to great things. And I think that's the same with Van Persie, isn't it? That uh, he, um, he started off at this shit place and then went and won the Premier League title with us. But there's not a lot to, uh, there's not a lot to show, really. I mean, we're just walking round a big oval shape I've, I've been to lots of football grounds like this there's another statue here though it's getting exciting there's a little one up there there's a museum let's twist it round there's a steward going up there there he's obviously he's paid to be here there's no actual fans hanging around it's nearly 10 o'clock in the morning and it's empty there's nothing there's no atmosphere absolutely terrible but uh there's some shitty little statue up over there, but I'm not going up there. It's not worth my time, but I am actually walking past this one. It looks like that arse to me. Can you see it? Yes, get him in the frame. Twist it. It looks to me that, that that might be Tony Adams' arse. And it does say Adams on the back. I can read it from here. So it definitely is going to be Tony Adams, who actually I do know. It could be the real one for all I know. He might come here and stand here because uh, he's got nothing else to do. There he is, look, it's Tony Adams. He's Arsenal's equivalent of probably, I'm trying to think of a United captain, Valencia. You know, they, they make statues of people like that. You know, we've, we've had like Roy Keane, Brian Robson, Vidic, Steve Bruce. They have to make statues of Tony Adams. And I think that's the, actually, that's just paint. That's just paint, that's the real one. He ain't got anything else to do. They just pay him to come here. I think he does it in his own time, actually. Um, so, yes, we're at the North Bank now. There's Me Mesut Ozil, can we get him in? We found him. That's where he is. That's really Mesut Ozil. So, yep, just another another side of the stadium now. This is exactly the same as the other side. Uh, I 
There's another person over there, I think he's actually lost, he's on his phone and he's probably looking at this place going, what is it? Um, but yeah, all in all quite a quite a soulless little alcove in Islington, London and uh, I've probably just realised that it's quite windy here so it might be uh, a bit of shit but uh, yes, no more statues so Tony Adams and a Winston Churchill look-alike. I thought they had a Burkamp statue. Burkamp, for anybody who doesn't know, Dennis Burkamp is basically a Dutch B-Tech Cantona. Um, again, slim pickings at Arsenal, so they had, to build a, they had to build a statue of him. Pretty sure they'll build a statue of Robbie at some point. I mean, he's probably done more for Arsenal Football Club in the last 10 years than any of that lot on the pitch have done, to be honest. But... Uh, Yes, I'm here at the old Emirates having a look around and yet again the stadium is exactly the same as the other side. In fact, I actually came up the road and the first thing I saw was the club shop. I'm a little bit early so I thought I'd have a walk around. I actually found the best place when I first got here. They've got a couple of uh, statue guns because they're the gunners. Um, but yes. Lifeless. Boring. Arsenal. Thanks for watching. Or shall we carry on a little bit? Yeah. It's got to be worth a like, hasn't it? You can walk round a rival football club and just take the piss out of them the whole way. Which is uh, always good. Love it. Love it. Collector's office, collection office there, look. Bit of London, that's probably the best bit, looking away. Some people doing a bit of running. Probably don't want me to film them. Some stairs here. Arsenal ladies probably over there. Just doing a bit of running. I don't know if you can see them. Fucking hell. What a boring stadium. Bloody hell. No wonder they're moaning. Anyway. I'm walking down the steps now. Spike, see you later.